So one of the nice things about Cinema 4D is that uh, it integrates with After Effects pretty well. There are a number of ways you can do this. I wanted to show a simple uh, way to do this if you're if you're just getting started uh, to get you to think about maybe how to start compositing in After Effects. I have a simple logo animation in 3D, uh, and I've saved this out as logo. Um, and I'm gonna just pop into After Effects now. I'm not not actually not even gonna export any video or any PNG sequences or passes. Uh, what I'm gonna do is switch to my After Effects. Whoops. I'm gonna import that logo file right here. And you can see that set up like this. Let's make a new composition. Um, I guess this is set to 1920 by 1080, 20 seconds. I probably don't need that much. I think I just actually had either a six or three second animation, but we'll start like this. Uh, so you'll see this is a Cinema 4D file. I can actually click and drag and put this into uh, the composition. And you'll see that this uh, uh, uses the Cineware uh, plugin by Maxon. And there's different settings here. Um, you know, you can see that I have kind of a draft view because I'm seeing all these lines here. But if you wanted to see like the real kind of look of it, you could do viewport. Obviously, it's going to um, uh, kind of slow down your uh, machine. But, you know, we can look at this. We can do a preview. Um, you know, maybe I want to just go down to a lower resolution just to get a preview from here. Yeah, so you can see that we've we've got this set up, and you know one thing I didn't do in my logo file is I didn't really put a background in there, so it's black. But you know we're in After Effects, and we can start to work with this. Uh, the layers and things will kind of be the same. Like if I wanted to put a background, I could just do a a new solid here, and uh, I don't know what color we'll make it. Maybe we'll make it kind of greenish to match the floor. Uh, and I'm going to just move it down. Yeah, there you go. And now you can kind of see what that looks like. Maybe I don't love that color. So let me go in and kind of work on it. Let's see. Yeah, maybe that's good. It's kind of green, but it still uh, lets those letters stick out a little bit. OK, so. Um, that's one thing that's pretty nice, just putting that in there. And then, you know, from here, let's say we could do other, um, put a hue and saturation effect here. Maybe we'll, we'll end on a different type of color. So we'll turn that on. I'm, uh, just gonna put that there and maybe we'll do master saturation zero, uh, something like that. So. You know, you could see what that might look like. Yeah, so I, I think for some people, it's easier to control these things within After Effects and, you know, adding effects uh, rather than doing it all in Cinema 4D. But what's nice about this, too, is, you know, if you make changes in the Cinema 4D file, like, let's say I changed some the material of this floor. Maybe I want to make it like a little bit darker. Something like this. Just want to see what that looks like. Okay. So I've changed that here. Um, I'm going to save it. And then that color change should reflect back in here. There you go. It's a little bit darker. Or let me do something that's maybe more drastic so you can kind of see it. Maybe we'll make it like kind of a gray, dark gray like that. Okay, save it out. And if you made changes to the keyframes and, th and stuff, that would also be updated. So you can see that that color is, is there now. Um, another nice thing that we can do is if we go click on the Cinema 4D layer, we can extract the cameras and the lights, which is nice because then we can start to have insert other shapes in here in After Effects or other elements, um, and they will be affected by that 
light. So, um, for example, I can draw a shape. Maybe I'll do an ellipse because that's in the logo, and I'll draw that like this. Um, I'm going to change the colors of these things. Okay, now I'll go and make it 3D. And uh, what happened is when I made it 3D, it kind of jumped off screen. You can see it's not within the realm of the camera. So what's nice about this is you can reposition it. So it's really this piece right here. I'm looking at this is the anchor point over here so it's a little bit off uh, I'm going to go back into my active camera and I should see that and I can kind of place that a little bit better so it's actually in the 3d space and when that camera is moving it's um, it's kind of moving as if it were in, it, it were in the space so uh, we can take a look at that um, one thing that's kind of interesting is you can actually take a shape and uh, you can make it 3D like this. I'm actually making an extrusion. Uh, maybe I'll move the anchor point. So it's kind of in the center of this and we could even like animate this. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll do it this way. So I'm again. I'm blending Cinema 4D elements with uh, After Effects elements, just to show you at one way that you can integrate uh, the two. And this is kind of looking at different workflows as well. You know, and I again, I could animate this moving around, and maybe I'll just add like a few more extra sh of these shapes. Uh, oh, see, that's putting into the same shape layer, which maybe I don't want. I'm gonna unselect it uh, again, make it 3D, but now it's kind of off. So. I'll move that back. Just maybe change the color around a little bit. Let's extrude it. Maybe this one moves up. Oops. Maybe I'll move off camera as well. And we can rotate it. So let's have a look. Oh, I. Didn't really adjust my anchor point, but I kind of like that moving around. I think it's not in the center. Um, that gets me thinking maybe I should move this anchor point if it lets me. There you go. Now, one thing that's going to happen is th these layers are on top, so they're going to go over some of these elements. If you had elements that you wanted to go behind them, that's just something to be aware of. Uh, I'm just going to fix this so that they don't overlap so much. Huh, maybe I'll just move these over. Okay, so they now they go off the screen. Uh, I, I kind of want to move this. Up a little bit. So 
So I'm, you know, I'm kind of worried that these are intersecting and maybe going over the same space. So that's just something to be mindful of. Maybe I'll scale this down a little bit and push it to the side so it doesn't have, oops. It doesn't have that same kind of overlapping over the shapes. There's one little overlap there. I'll just kind of push it back. You know, and if I'm worried about the this lower edge, if I want to kind of make it feel like it's a uh, flat screen, maybe I'll maybe I'll duplicate, or maybe I'll make a new solid. That's this color. And so I've got that. And I'm going to keyframe it to fade in. going to add a, a mask here and just feather it a little bit so it's a little bit softer. Let's see if I think yeah I think we've got a little bit of softness on there so I'm just going to animate this to slide up as well. And so if we wanted to export this, I'd probably go here and then we have our, our final scene. Let's uh, get this closely. So this is just a quick intro into what you can do with Cineware. Uh, there are definitely more advanced techniques that you can apply, uh, but hopefully this gives you a good first look.